Yeah, I think obviously, uh, you know, the kids now, you know, it's game 12, so they've obviously had a lot of uh, experience, a lot of lectures from me about like the process, what you have to do, put the last game behind you regardless, uh, focus on this next opponent. Uh, today on Tuesday, obviously, is the first introduction, so it's sometimes it's not as smooth and clean as you'd like for it to be, and, and uh, UMass has got a little bit of an advantage on us in this week from the standpoint that they've had two weeks to get prepared for this game. We got three days, and uh, but I think our kids did a good job. Uh, you know, UMass, and we've talked about it a little bit, I mean, they've got a very, very good passing attack, and uh, uh, they can run the ball when they want to, but they can throw the ball. They've they've played some uh, early in the season. They got off to a tough start, but they played some good teams. And, but they were in the fight completely against Tennessee. Uh, recently, their their most recent loss was against Mississippi State, and that was an unbelievable fight. I mean, Mississippi State had their hands full. They won four of their last five games, and probably one of the biggest differences is their defense. Early the first half of the season, I think they had only maybe created like one turnover, one interception. Now they've got 15, and so they've been. Doing doing a lot of good things in the secondary, putting pressure on the quarterback. And so uh, we be, we got to get ourselves prepared. You know, before the game, you know, well, all week last week, we we um, alliterated that we wanted to go out with a bang for the seniors and, and we wanted to put on a show for the seniors. You know, I have like most of this class that's leaving is, 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 is with my class. So, you know, I just wanted to um, give them my own this game. You know, um, you know, when it comes to the sacks and everything, um, I can't take full credit for it because, you know, it's it's like a waterfall effect, man. It's like, you know, the DBs and linebackers did a great job locking up the receivers and whatnot, and giving us opportunities to, um, to get one-on-ones with the O-line and everything. And, you know, also I got to um, give credit to my D-line too because without them, without Jermaine taking up two blocks and leaving me a one-on-one, -on -one, it gives me a chance to go and do what I can do. So, you know, the growth and the development of those guys, you know, has been outstanding. I, I mean, they started off. I mean, there wasn't a whole heck of a lot of experience. New defense, new defensive scheme. Uh, they've worked extraordinarily hard. Kenny Holmes is a very, very good teacher and a good coach. I mean, this guy's a first-round draft choice and and played in the NFL for several years. So he, you know, he really is doing a good job of helping those kids grow. We're trying to build depth, and that's one of the things I think that helps guys like Furman and AJ is that when you can get a chance to be able to put in guys like Kevin Oliver, Noah Curtis, some of the two, those two freshmen, some of the other guys to, to come in and, and lighten the load. Because you, you just can't ask your defensive lineman to play 65 to 85 snaps. It's impossible. So you better have 10 kids ready to go. And um, and I think that that's really helped all of them. As we were watching film, we, we kind of um we kind of picked out the uh, the weaker links on their own line. We knew we knew what kind of moves would work on uh, specific players. Um, like my first sack, for instance, um, number 63. We knew that he was a heavy leaner, so we knew if we worked inside moves on him, we can uh, we could take advantage of it, which it, uh, which obviously worked. So it's been working a lot. You know, Coach uh, Coach Holmes is always is always on us about watching film, and um, and it's a good thing. You know. Um, in the past, we never really came in at nights and, uh, and watched film, but now we started coming in a lot more during the week. Uh, we, we'll come in after everybody's done with class at like 8, 9 o'clock at night and come in, watch maybe an hour, hour and a half of film, you know, um, all the sack tapes, the top run plays and the top pass plays. Um, so so it's helped us out a lot. Yeah, uh, Bryce Singleton has done a good job, and uh, I think his role obviously expanded, you know, certainly when T.O. got hurt, and, and we had already previously lost our other starting wide receiver, Julian Williams, who's been out. And and uh, last week was his first limited appearance back with the team, and and hopefully he's getting closer to being a hundred percent where he can get back in the game, so maybe take a little bit of the pressure off of uh, off of Bryce. They were a great team, you know. You know, still a great team. You know, they got six wins for a reason. You know, but um, we came out here, we played hard, and we, we we left it all out there, and you know, we won in all all three facets of the game: offense, special teams, and uh, defense. Like I said before, you know, we wanted to go out and 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 send the seniors out with a bang, man, and 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 that's where it all came from, you know. I think I think Fred was the main one getting everybody hype and everything. You know, he's the uh, he's the guy who brings the energy first. So so everybody just follows him and and, and uh, like Coach Holmes always says, it's a waterfall effect. Once one person does it, everybody starts to tag along with it. So you know, being senior night, you know, the last game here, but it wasn't really because we knew we had you know this next game. Yeah. But um, it was just a special night because my you know my whole family came down. And, you know, my grandpa, my grandma, my dad, my parents, and you know, it was it was emotional on the field. You know, when I ran out there, but you know. The team came through and, and you know played a great game for for our seniors. I try to play you know with my emotions on my sleeve. I try to leave it all out there and and you know when you when you get a win and all the preparation you know it, it it comes up and you know you just you just embrace it and you love it and I just want to give hugs to everybody I can just because you know they they were a part of the win 
and you know it's just I've done it every every game we've won. I will go up and just tackle Coach Smith and just let him know I love him and I, I really appreciate you know everything he's done for me and you know the guys on the team. Yeah, you know they're a great team. You know, well coached. Uh, we played them two years in a row. We you know we lost two games two years in a row. So you know we still got a chip on our shoulders. You know we've never beat UMass, but um. Uh, like, like you said, you know, it's a tough game to come back from, you know, just because it was such a good game for us. And uh, Coach said at the beginning of practice, you know, we can't get complacent because the last time that we were bowl eligible, you know, we lost to OD the next week. And, you know, now we have seven wins. And now, we, you know, we're for sure going to a bowl. Now we just really need to, to lock in and, uh, and go out and battle next week.